In this video, I am going to be covering the last portion of the lecture from section 49 in which we were talking about connections. I'm actually going to break this into two short parts. So this is part one of the final section of section 49. Recall that we say a vertex is connected to another vertex. So A is connected to B if there is an AB path in graph G. Remember that a path is a walk in which no vertices are repeated. Also, the is connected to relation, that is to say that A is related to B means A is connected to B is an equivalence relation. It's symmetric, it's reflexive, and it's transitive. As a result, it generates equivalence classes, which means you can break up an entire graph into parts where everything in the part is connected to everything else in that part, but if you're in two different parts, then th something in the first part is not connected to something in the second part. So we are going to define parts of graphs or equivalence classes as components. So here's a definition. A component of G is a subgraph of G, meaning it's got a subset of the vertices and a subset of the edges, that's induced by a set of vertices which make up an equivalence class of the is-connected-to relation on the vertex set of G. Now all of that's a very fancy way, but rigorous mathematical way, of saying that the components of a graph are the parts of a graph made up of the vertices and edges of those vertices that are connected to each other. So for example, let's consider the following graph. We've got seven vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and let's say they're connected in a way that we've seen before. One is, uh, one, two is an edge, one, three is an edge, two, three is an edge, uh, three, four is an edge, um, and five, six is an edge. So the components of this graph are going to be basically what we can circle and um, are distinct parts of this graph. So for example, um, one, two, three, and four, those vertices are all connected to each other because there is a path from any one of those to the other. So I would say that the first component is G induced on the set of vertices 1, 2, 3, and 4. I would say the second component is G induced on the set of vertices 5 and 6. So this part over here. And then the last component would be the... Uh, subgraph induced of uh, sorry subgraph of G induced on the vertex set 7 so they're circled are the components of that graph so each component is itself a graph it is a subgraph of G so that's what we mean when we say components okay so in this particular case the original graph G had three components um, we're going to define a graph G as connected if every X and Y in the vertex set has or there exists an XY path in G. So it's connected if for every vertex in the vertex set of G there is an XY path. This graph is not connected because there is no way to walk from 4 to 5. There is not a 4-5 path in that graph. By the way, that also means that there is one and only one component of a graph that is connected. So let's talk about disconnection. Consider the following graph. I've got um, seven vertices again, but this time they're connected um, in the following way. Okay, these are the edges of that graph. It's not important that I label them in this case, so recreate that graph to the best of your ability on your own notes. And notice that there's something special about this edge right here that I just drew an X on that's not true of any other edge. 
If I were to remove that edge, that is, if I looked at the um, subgraph, uh, sorry, the, the, the spanning subgraph, is that what I meant? Yes, spanning subgraph, that's what the graph you get when you remove edges, remember, that if I remove that edge, the number of components in the resulting subgraph is now 2. Any edge that when you remove it increases the number of components is called a cut edge because you're cutting your graph into additional components. So definition, an edge out of the edge set of G is called a cut edge of G. If G minus E, the graph with that E removed, that edge removed, has more components than G, that is called a cut edge edge. We can also define cut vertices as any vertex that if you remove it and look at the induced subgraph, that is the graph that you get when you remove a vertex and any corresponding edges, if it increases the number of components then it's called a cut vertex. So a vertex V out of the vertex set of G is called a cut vertex if when you remove that vertex, you have more components than the original graph G. So in this case, there's two and only two vertices that would be considered a cut vertex. That one and that one. Notice anything that is an edge, um, including a vertex, like this one right here, this vertex, I would remove one, two, three edges along with it, and the resulting graph has only two, or has not now two components. If you remove this vertex, the resulting graph um, would have two components.